Thank you. My name is Sogan Rekka. I represent the Ministry of the Royal Ministry of Health and Care Services in Oslo, Norway. And thank you for giving me the floor and the opportunity to speak about this important issue, which Canada once again puts on the agenda, which we are really grateful for. Drug. The word drug. It is a very negative, loaded word. And due to the possible adverse effects of drug use, this might be positive as a protective and a preventive factor in a public health perspective. It might as well be explained as society, society's need to correct for a threat towards public order. This, however, is no excuse for how we have acted against people who use the drugs. As we have these negative attitudes towards the drugs, the word of drugs itself, by some even called the evil, we transfer these views to those who use them, especially if they use a lot and lose control. We even punish them for doing so. This is probably why institutions for people suffering from drug dependency, excuse my languages, but uh, often have an anonymous location and entrance as people hesitate to visit such places, risking to be identified and the need for help for problems they are ashamed of and stigmatized for. Thus, the threshold for receiving help is elevated. When we see a person who is addicted to drugs, most of us define him as just that. A drug addict and nothing more. <coughs> that is, even though we do know, we do not know anything about him, who he is, why he has ended up where he are and where he is, and placed at the very lowest stage of a social level. Even other groups, like those suffering <coughs> from dependency of prescription drugs or some representatives of recreation, recreational cannabis users, they operate with a us and them dimension and refuse to be identified with these, excuse me, junkies or being offered services within the same treatment institutions. Professionally, however, I sometimes try to be at least, we know that people who use drugs often, they have been abused or and or neglected in early childhood and they use drugs to cover for another shame and as a self medication for mental problems and to manage life. Fortunately, over the last years, many countries have invited and they have empowered representatives for people who use drugs and they have become very valuable voices. Even Kenneth has an example. Uh, surprisingly to many, they have shown up as reflected, well spoken, responsible, and sympathetic persons, and once again reminded us that there is much more that, to this than what meets the eyes. Finally, I have often taken part in discussions where we seemingly compete with each other who is able to express the best attitudes towards regarding drugs and persons who use the drugs. I might even have won the competition. That, however, is no guarantee that I will behave accordingly in real life. So, finally, let me therefore conclude my intervention and once again praise Canada for putting stigma on the agenda. Especially, I will call attention to the slogan over here, stigma ends with me. But maybe it starts with me as well as talking about and arresting others, that is the easy part. Whereas the only one you can change is yourself. And to end stigma, I need to confront myself and my attitudes and hope others will do so as well. I thank you. They're here. Now I'm going to try to very quickly